Listen, if you want to see the full version of this interview without waiting until part 75, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a VIP member for just $2.99 a month. While you're at it, turn the red subscribe button gray and hit the notification bell. All right, now VIPs, enjoy the clip. <laughs> I remember uh, when we had initially spoke, you was telling me like you just had uh, you just had a child and all that. Um, so that it was kind of new at that time. Yeah. Now, like you kind of probably got into the swing of things, you know, got in a little routine. What is it like yeah. now being a father while rapping, being young and all that? What is what what is what is that like? I ain't gonna lie. It's like for me, I'm still getting used to it. You feel me? Yeah. But. It's just I gotta for me, gotta be more gotta be more that ass about what I do. Gotta gotcha. be more serious about what I do. Gotcha. Just go harder. Bad, bad. When I remember uh when I had my, my I had my son, like they were like for me, I was like, damn, you know, some of the I, it's a blessing having a kid, but I ain't gonna lie, I was like, damn, I ain't got time to do certain <laughs> things that I wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Like either working a little bit more to get money or you feel that pressure of them. It's not only about me. I got to take care of a whole person that can't take care nah, of himself. I, I feel like it was like, for me, it was like a different type. Because I ain't gonna lie, I wanted the kid, you feel me? Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it was like, on some, just be more that eyes because I don't believe in that abortion shit. Okay, okay. But Why did you want, why did you, it was before you, before you found out you, nah, you got, nah, like when I found out, okay, it was just okay. on some, I guess like Let's for do me, it. if you with I'm with you. For me, it's just gotcha. Go move on. Yeah, you know it's it's interesting you say that. Like you don't believe in abortion and all that. Yeah. Um, why not? Like, cause I don't you, believe in that. Is it religious reasons? Yeah, it's like my mom. My mom. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, gotcha. What's what? What religion are you? I'm Christian. Oh, you Christian? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, they ain't going for it. I'm Christian as well. Man, my my mother wasn't going for that at all. You know what right. I'm saying? Bet. Um, so let's talk about how you how do you make the time to even schedule like doing uh going to the studio, being a father, like how how does that work for you? You know what I'm saying? For me, it's just like uh basically me and my partner, we just she yeah. understands like for me that I'm a rapper and, and this is I'm, I mean, I'm getting somewhere with it, clearly. Yeah. So for me, so she she played a big ass part of that. Yeah. Me watching the kid while I'm going to the studio. So like that. So for me, I'm gonna give her a props for me. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Ben, I um I know the last time we was here, uh, we kind of spoke about your upbringing, um, all the music you was working on that mm -hmm. uh, around that time. Since then, I know you've released um many other tracks from Exposure with John Sav, Ready. Ready for War, CPE, Demons and Devils, um, all the way down to, I think, the last track I see. Is it FTO, the last track that you yeah, put out? Yeah, yeah, Gotcha. Um, from that time to to then, you know, you put out, like, a few songs, but it, it, it kind of feels like it kind of slowed up. Is there any particular reason you slowed up with releasing music? Um, you said, like, for me, being a father, it's just, like, I ain't have, I was really inspired. To like really write a whole lot of music, you feel me? Mm. But then I'm I'm just getting back in that mode, like for me that niggas gotta stop playing with me, like for me I, I I'm really different at this shit. Yeah. Well, um, you know what do you do when you when you don't feel inspired? Cause I know like I literally was watching a podcast yesterday, mm -hmm. and somebody's question was like, yo, I don't feel I don't feel energized or or motivated to do what I love, and they was asking how does somebody get themselves to do something that they know they should do or want to do. So what did what do you do to get yourself inspired to write, motivated to write? I mean, I don't know. I just, for me, getting that mode is just by the day, like, whenever I feel like writing or whenever I feel like I got something to say, for me, that's that's how I get in that mode. Gotcha. But like I said, but also I ain't gonna lie, it's just like the new, the, not even to say like the new drill scene or the people, like the new characters, or whatever's coming up, <laughs> like, it was just on some, like, damn, like, it don't even matter what I say no more, you feel me? Yeah. Because yeah. niggas is going to listen, like, it's just, there's mad bullshit now, and there's yeah. bullshit shit, to be honest. Yeah. Just feel like they're giving clout to anybody, 
and niggas just be chatting. Yeah, it's it's crazy mm-hmm. that you say that. I just had a conversation with with somebody about that. Like, where I feel like yes, New York is hot, mm-hmm. and and it's it's a little bit easier to be in the industry right now. Yeah. But because it's easier, it's becoming oversaturated. Like everybody's rapping and it, and sometimes I, I see what you mean. It's kind of like, yo, they ain't even inspiring. Well, this. It's not even inspiring no more. Like for me, yeah. you can say the same. It just sound the same. Yeah. I don't make like, I don't want to put me in that category. Gotcha. Sometimes like for me, but you know, you just got to, you got to bring it back. Yeah. That's all. Sure. How do you, how do you, you know, how do you take, uh, I guess, how do you se- separate yourself from, what is being done, the repeti- everybody being so repetitive because drill is kind of like there's a specific drum pattern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how does one still do the genre mm-hmm. but also step away from being It's just you know, about like you getting, for me, getting personal. Don't say, don't, don't say shit that everybody say. Like, you for me? Mm. They can say spin through the... Um, smoking on all that regular shit. You for me? Yeah. Sometimes you gonna have to get personal. We we got to the drill scene. We got to the drill shit. To the this and the dad niggas and all that extra shit. Now it's just more like what we doing after with this shit. You for me? Yeah. Where you want to be? Go. That's what that's what I've been working on. Like saying like telling them my story. You for me? Yeah. About me and my where I come from. Gotcha. Shit like that. Gotcha. And if, I, ain't, I ain't I didn't even start releasing it yet. But like okay. I got y'all for me. I told my EP gonna come out soon. There's no, yeah, for me. Bad. We did. You bringing up the whole thing with, with, I think you should put that in your music, like fatherhood, like speaking about that. Cause I feel like, um, you could, people think that you, when you're doing drill, you mm-hmm. have to just talk about spinning or whatever the case may be. But I feel like you could throw other topics into it too. Cause when you see people like, um, you know, Ice Spice, people might not be like, people might be like, oh, she ain't drill this and that, but she's doing drill. She, yeah, she, she kind of, but she's not talking about. Yeah, she's not talking about. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like um, you could do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Separate yourself. 